More than half of the Netherlands is at risk of flooding, not only from the sea, but also from the rivers. My own house is in a small town. When the water rises in the river, we're at risk of flooding. So that's why working in the water industry is very important for me. It's something personal. The Afsla Dijk has protected a large part of the Netherlands from flooding for more than 90 years. First plans for uh, building a dam in the Zuiderzee are from the 17th century, but it took till flood in uh, 1916 with enormous damage before plans were made more strict. And then in 1920 the work started, so it took about 12 years to construct the Afsla Dijk. The Afsla Dijk is really important to the area in, in terms of uh, flood prevention because large parts of the Netherlands lie below uh, sea level. So if the Afsla Dijk wouldn't be there, large parts of the country would be uh, flooded. The Afsla Dijk was completed in 1932 and it needs to be maintained. And our part of the scope is to build big pumps that in case of high water and we cannot drain, that we can pump away the water. Pumping stations we need because the sea level is rising. So we need the pumping stations to pump the water out. Flowsurf is one of the pump suppliers who can build such huge pumps which are needed here. We like to drain as long as possible because that doesn't cost any energy. It's a natural flow. When the tide is high or the weather conditions are bad, we need to be able to pump the water away. So as part of the Afsla Dijk upgrade project, Flowserve is designing, testing, validating and installing the pumps to increase the discharge capacity through the dike. So the pumping stations we are building at the moment are one of the largest pumping stations within Europe. One of the biggest problems was the scale of the project. The pumps are so big, we needed to test everything on scale, from model testing the impeller to the inlet of the pumps. Where we are right now is our test facility. Here we tested the impeller on scale. The impeller is a rotating part of the pump which puts the water in motion. So when the pump starts to operate, the impeller rotates and pumps the water from the lakeside towards the sea. So this is the same impeller design as uh, for the Asserdijk, the small scale version. Uh, diameter one meter, but for the Asserdijk it will be five times bigger than this one. Including the, uh, the fish features to make sure that the fish survive throughout the pump. Yeah, it's amazing, huh? it's incredible. The pumps meet certain requirements from an ecological point of view. They must not be uh, too noisy and they must be fish friendly. The special impeller design of the pump is made in such a way that if the fish are being hit by the impeller, it's done with a low impact, making sure that the fish will survive that and pass the pump harmless. These are the uh, simulation results in which we see that we are uh, getting the capacity, uh, the amount of water from A to B uh, as intended. Uh, but besides that, when you look at the impeller design over here, we, we're seeing that fish safe design. We maintain the fish cone through the pump, but still we see in the results that we maintain a high efficiency and with that a very low energy consumption of the pumps. With that, we have a very low impact on the overall environment. In the factory where the blocks are made, each block goes under a machine with a brush. Yeah. So the top layer gets a little roughened. Seaweeds can live in there and mussels. So that's also good for ecology. It sounds, it sounds like a great innovation. I think it's amazing that for a tough uh, infrastructural project it's possible to do so much for uh, nature. It is important to build and maintain these water infrastructures to make sure that the community which is living in those flood risk areas, that they are protected. The problems we see over here in the Netherlands, we see them all over the world. So the solutions we apply here can be applied globally. I feel very proud about the project. It's the biggest project I've ever done and uh, we don't have those projects every year. So yeah, I was very excited. I think good water management and water infrastructure like dikes and pumps are crucial in creating a safe living area for the people. What I hope for the future is that we can help more people around the world with our pumps and our solutions.